Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Resident Evil 2. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get both upgrades for the Magnum, the Lightning Hawk. All right, there's two upgrades you have for this. Um, bring. First of all, where are we? We are here in the monitor room where all the uh, the plug sockets are. And I'm assuming that you've already opened up the area where you first find the Rook plug, okay, which I call Rook hallway. Yeah, there's a Rook plug, there's the bridge that um, the Rook plug raises up when you take it out. And I'm assuming that you've already found the sewers key, which opens up the workers break room, most importantly, and the water injection chamber. Um, if you don't know how to do all that, watch the previous video and that will cover all that and more. All right. So now everybody's up to speed. Bring along with you the USB dongle key, um, a mixed herb, GRB mixed herb for um, a sewer sucker tax and a burnt out combat knife. All right. Bring a burnt out one. If you've been following my walkthrough, you should probably have lots of combat knives by now. Yeah, I've got three of them. Yeah. Bring a burnt out one. And that's all you need for now. We're going to pick up more stuff later on. You know, might want to bring the T-bar valve, but that doesn't matter, and the roll of film, but that doesn't matter because we're going to encounter an item box um, later on before we need those items. These are the most important three items to bring right now, right? Um, knife, mixed herb, and the USB dongle key, right? Got all that. Save the game, just in case. Let's get busy. We're going to exit out the east door of the monitor room. Back into the treatment tool room. Cross the bridge. Out the exit sign. Down the stairs. And if you've been following this walkthrough, all these guys are dead now. If they're not, kill them. And go out the kind of right fork of what I like to call y, y junction because it makes a Y, you see? That's what I call a Y junction. Jump into the sledge, turn right, and we want to get to the workroom lift. There's only one problem, there's one of those G-adult monsters on the way and he's, he's perfectly blocking the way right there. Um, I found the best way to get past him is to just simply run as fast as you can past on the left side. And he's going to grab you no matter what. He's going to block the way no matter what. Um, grab him. He's, he grabs you rather. Use your combat knife. Your burnt out combat knife. That'll fight him off. Um, then depending on your luck, um, you may be able to get past him at that point and get up on that platform. If he can't get past him and he grabs again and pukes on you, um, then that's where you have to use your sewer sucker tax, your GRB herb that will cure you of being poisoned and will make you immune to being poisoned for a short while. And these things, um, they always seem to be a little tuckered out after they puke, so um, that will give you enough time to get past them, all right, for sure. So those two items, uh, for sure, will help you get past them without having to waste all your precious ammo, okay? That's the plan. Let's do it. Grabs you. Use a knife. Stab him. And I got past him. Great. Didn't have to use my serious sucker tax. Haha, uh -huh. didn't get me. Make sure you spin around to the to the left after he grabs you after you use a knife. He grabs you, turn to the left, and then because he always kinda like turns you around the wrong way. Right? That's a good way. And if it doesn't work, like I said, use your sewer sucker tax. And that always make some pause and yeah, like I said they get a little tuckered out after the puke <laughs> these college frat boys um yeah okay so back we are in rook hallway just leave the rook plug there we're gonna go to workers the workers break room here in the workers break room we've already collected everything in here go over here to the cabinet on this side the taped up cabinet and interact with this side <laughs> And Leon will push it out of the way, revealing a secret passage. Ooh, a secret passage. Interact with that. 
Get yourself an elevator. Take the elevator up. In this room, hang a left. Make sure you go grab these magnum bullets here. And take the stairs up. Unlock the door. And you're going to find yourself in the bottom platform where we first got the grenade for the first boss fight. Okay, the underground stairs, if you recall correctly. This is where the first boss fight took place in the machinery room. Okay, and we went all the way down. We grabbed the, the grenade, came back up here, encountered the first boss there, and then we did the fight in there. Okay, that's where we are now, right? And in this room, you may have noticed that there's this case that you can't unlock. Now that we have the star's badge, we can unlock it. So let's just use the star's badge there. And what did I do? I forgot to turn it back into the star's badge. It's now a USB dongle case. You're going to have to examine it, turn it over, interact with it, and it becomes the star's badge again. Now use it. And you don't need it anymore, so you don't have to take it back out. And grab yourself the long barrel lightning hawk. Or rather the long barrel um, upgrade for the lightning hawk. What did I do? Let's put that guy down there. This guy goes up there. And let's combine this with the magnum right away. Takes up two spaces now, but it does more damage. Think. Reduces recoil and increases the gun's destructive power. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so that's that. That's one upgrade. Now, let's go all the way upstairs. Take the elevator here. And this will take you back up to the little secret room that you first go into when you first escape the police station. Remember this room here? Right. And bring the film hiding place that you found <laughs> once again in the previous video. Um, I am, don't have time to go over all the details of where you find this. It's all outlined in great detail where to find that in the previous video, okay? And the T-bar valve handle. All right, got all that. Next, you can use this T-bar crank slot here. Open that up, and now we can go back into the police station. And I think I have enough space there. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, now before we go up there, because I didn't kill um, the lieutenant yet, Let's just run past him here. Okay, here we go. What we want to do is get to the dark room. The west office is pretty clear. There's a liquor here, but that's pretty much it. The best part about returning to the police station is we don't have the tyrant forever chasing us, so it's going to be a lot easier to get through. So all we have to do is go through the West Office, walk carefully past this liquor here and up to the dark room and develop the film. That's the plan, let's do it. It should be clear. Walk, walk carefully out the door. And you can hear him. It's okay, it's okay. Around the corner. Walk carefully. He can't see. He can only hear. So just be quiet. There we go. We made it. And develop the film. You have to do this. Even if you know where these places are, you have to do this in order to get the prompt to get the goodies. Okay? So now we have two secret hiding places. This hiding place is in the star's office in the little tiny office, which is like, you know, I guess the head, head honcho of the star's office. Um, of the STARS uh, organization. He has a little tiny office inside the STARS office and it's this drawer right here that opens up and that will give you 
the second upgrade to the Lightning Hawk. This is in the press room. Um, that's on the first floor on the east side. And um, once again, it's a little desk. Open that up. And this will give you an extra 400 fuel for the flamethrower, which we haven't got yet. But uh, believe me, it's going to be very useful. Okay. So got that. Great. First thing we're going to do is go for the Magnum upgrade. That's on the second floor in the star's office, like I said. Um, liquor in this hallway, but other than that, it's fairly clear. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the second floor, through the shower room, south. As soon as we go through this door here, walk carefully down to the star's office so you don't alert the liquor. And in here, and in this little office here is where the upgrade is. Okay, that's the plan. Let's do it. Let's just save the game just in case Mr. Fumblefinger steps in, screws everything up. And or there's a power outage because like there's been a lot of power outages here in Montreal, Quebec. It's just absolutely infuriating. Okay, so let's get down the stairs, you're good. Run up the stairs. Everything should be clear up here. Oh, wait, this guy's left. Give him a wide berth. Go around him. I hear a liquor. Okay. Through the shower room. Once again, out here, there's bound to be another liquor, so carefully walk down here. There it is. Wait, no, that's a plan. <laughs> and into the star's office. Oh, I hear you. I just heard it. Okay, and around here. And as you can see, we now have a prompt for this guy's desk. Open it up. And we get a wooden box. Put that wooden box in your inventory. Check it out. Examine. Spin it around. Interact with it. And Shazam. We have the red dot sight for the lightning off. One of the best upgrades for the Magnum. Fantastic. Let's hook that baby up right away. And I'll show you what it does. It's just fantastic. Watch how fast the reticle shrinks to a tiny dot. Okay. Boom. See? Boom. Boom. It makes the aiming a lot easier. There we go. Red dot sight enables lightning fast aiming. Let's see what that. Okay. Take that off. Now watch it. Wait a minute. Can you take it off? Oh, it's permanent. Okay, well, it looks like I, I can't demonstrate that. Just take my word for it. It's a lot faster. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so that's both Magnum upgrades. Now we're going to go to the east side, down on the first floor, to the press room. Oh, and I'm also going to pick up some stuff in here that I uh, forgot to get earlier on. I figure the best way to do this is to simply exit the star's room, walk carefully down here, down through the lounge, through the library, back onto the main hall, second floor mezzanine, down back to the first floor, out through the southeast corner, up here and into the press room. That's the plan. Let's do it. Carefully out here. Walk down to the end. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Balls of steel. Balls of steel there, Leon. Balls of steel. Down to the end. Into the lounge. Every good. Maybe a few scragglers left in here. Give everybody, give everybody a wide berth. You have some of these left in here. Out we go. Like I said, you don't have to worry about the tyrant. It's a big plus. Down to the first floor. And into this hallway here. There may be some some zombies left over here. I took great trouble to clear them out. But um, I noticed that uh, when you come out of that press room, a female zombie often spawns magically. Um, wooden boards. We don't need this really, but just to be <laughs> completionist, let's grab it anyways. Get some bullets here. Yeah, I wiped them all out earlier. I don't know why a female zombie spawns when you come out of here, but I guess there she is. Oh, oh, okay. 
Let's just take care of it right away. Okay, good. In here. Now, there's a zombie over there, but typically you can get right up to this desk right here, interact with it, and get yourself 400 flamethrower fuel. Yeah. You're gonna love this when we get the flamethrower, and that's it. So let's get out of here. And get the F out of Dodge. Okay, so that's it. That's the Magnum upgrades flamethrower fuel run. Now we have to just get back to the sewers. Why? Because <laughs> we gotta continue the game, there's no choice. Okay, so let's just retrace our steps. Actually, um, let's just dump off here for now. Don't need this for now. Store that. Um, store the spare bullets. Don't need the magnum. Or the wooden boards. Or the magnum ammo. And we're just going with this. Yeah, that's good. Save and save often. All right, now I just gotta get y'all safely back to the headquarters in the monitor room. Basically, we're just gonna retrace our steps. And we're gonna pick up the rook plug on the way. And we're gonna use the T-bar crank one last time. This will save a lot of time. Okay, so retrace your steps all the way back to the worker's break room. This way all the way down here. All the way down to the bottom. To the same room that we picked up the uh, the hand grenade before the first boss fight. And that's where we got the magnum upgrade. Through this door here. Swing it on around here. Take this elevator down. Reload everything. And now we're back in the workers' break room. Right. Now, this time we're gonna go south to like down here. First we're going first of all we're gonna pick up the rook plug and then we're gonna go south down these stairs here, right? That's the plan, let's do it. Out comes the rook plug. Don't need to go across that bridge anymore. South down these stairs here. Don't worry about those guys. This is where we give uh, gave Billy Flop a, a diving lesson, if you recall. All right. Is this where we did? Yeah, pretty sure. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work west down this way to the last t-bar handle slot. There's going to be three zombies on the way. We could take them all out using the handgun. Um, basically, as soon as you see them, aim for their legs, kneecap them, make them fall in the water, and they'll drown. So that don't bother with headshots. Just kneecap them. All right, that's the plan. Let's do it. In the water we go. Use your pistol. And I usually prefer to just approach slowly, aiming like this. As soon as I spot one, stop so that your reticle goes tight, tight, aim for the legs. Down she goes, big splash afterwards, that means she drowned. Rinse and repeat two more times. There's one right there, stop. Down she goes. Didn't get a big splash afterwards. This is not good, that's okay. Just deal with it. There's one more right there. Gonna have to watch our flanks. Down she goes. Big splash afterwards each round. That's it, that's all. Down to the end here. This is the very first T-bar handle that we discovered in the series. Let's use the crank. Yeah, 
And that's it. The crank's all used up, don't need any more so we can discard it. Down we go. And this is another way to get the sewers key. It's right there. We already got it though. And now, before we take on the absolutely hellacious bottom waterway, let's get ourselves back to the monitor room so we can get re re blah, reorganized and ready for this. Because that's going to be like 16 different flavors of hell, believe me. Watch out when you come back to the Y junction. There's um there's a zombie I forgot to take out. Let's take him out right now. He's right there. Get your shotgun ready in just in case he's already up and activated. If not, we're gonna give him a buckshot shampoo right on the ground there. There, that guy right there. He always comes back to life right after you finish the bottom waterway. Absolutely diabolical. So that as you're limping back from your hellacious run through, you know three different. Uh, Super suckers, yeah, you know, he's like right there lurking around the corner. So let's do him right in right now. There we go. That's enough out of you. Up the stairs we go. This will take us back to the treatment pool room. And back to the monitor room. How do you remember all this slack? Yeah, I know. Damn, I swear. When they developed this game, they got a bunch of expert puzzle testers, you know, to to test the sewers and the game developers job was to get the puzzle testers to rage quit and I'm sure they I'm sure they succeeded because that is hella confusing the sewer system in here really freaking confusing but stick with the slack and you will not get whacked that's it for this video coming up next I'm going to show you how to get the king and queen plug and do the whole king and queen you know puzzle room and get the flamethrower and how to work your way through like I said, the absolutely hellacious bottom waterway. That's coming up next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.